is going on everybody hope you guys enjoy that droney right now i'm in downtown augusta trying to get some pictures and dronies of the loi i've kind of been neglecting it not really neglecting it it was more like i had to keep it in the garage to work on it for for a while so now that it's out of the garage now she's out i finally finished up the mirrors i finished it up like a month ago but when I put it on the truck, it was the wrong color red. And it's, it stuck out like a sore thumb. Most people said that they couldn't really tell the difference until I pointed it out. But it's just like a little thing. You know, when you do something to your truck that really only you would know, but it bugs the hell out of you. So I said, I can't, I can't do that. I'm going to have to redo it. So I, I disassembled the tow mirrors and repainted with the Duper Colors factory color matched. Uh, paint you can get that from advanced auto parts those things are expensive though it's like ten dollars for a can and it's like six ounces i went through like five cans whereas with the regular size can i only use like two to three when i find the good place i will walk outside and kind of give you guys a walk around of this truck because i also got to show you guys the tail lights too i'm over here at the uh, this is like our go-to take a uh, picture spot it's on the border of south carolina and georgia so like across the river right there, as you, you might not be able to see, but there's a river right there. Across the river is South Carolina. And yeah, I, I got a little overspray on the mirrors, which I'll go over, but, and there's a little abandoned factory, which is where people go and take pictures or um, sometimes people go there to do drugs. I mean, I'm not judging, but that's just, that's just a spot. Um, anyway, it's, it's kind of sketchy, but it's kind of cool. But uh, I was gonna go outside here and do a walk around of this truck but it's too windy over here it's it's always windy so it's an ideal place for pictures and a couple of dronies but even then i couldn't keep flying because it was so windy and my phone uh the app kept telling me that it was too windy and i needed to land so it was a little sketchy you know i'm like i'm flying it by myself i don't have anybody that can control the drone so i'm trying to get some rollers and trying to fly the drone at the same time it's not ideal i was trying to get my buddy cam cam with the ram to come out but of course he has to work on the day that i ask him to go out and take some pictures but we'll come back and get better dronies and better photos but as of now i'm gonna go find me a little alley uh, somewhere downtown in augusta so we can go over this beast this is like the fancy that's the fancy side of uh, augusta it's in south it's in South Carolina, but it's in North Augusta. So it's North of Augusta in South Carolina. Here we found a little alleyway in downtown Augusta. Downtown Augusta is actually really nice. It's kind of, I would say, kind of dumpy in a way, but it's it's got a really nice vibe. The wind noise was so bad outside that I have to do a voiceover, but it'll work out a little bit better. So basically what I was saying is here is the truck. She is finally out the garage. Uh, doing a walk around and I have the boost auto parts tow mirrors finally finished up and the paint match matches the factory color pretty well I messed up a little bit, but it's no big deal. I mean for my first time doing it. It is not bad at all I'm actually kind of proud of myself for uh, Attempting it and then here we go to the back and we have the tail lights from Primo Dynamics huge shout out to Primo Dynamics for working with me and um, hooking me up with the tail lights. They did a really good job of color matching it and I forgot the Gen Y hitch at home. I wanted to take some really cool pictures of the rear end but you know Gen Y hitch is what makes it cool. So here we go to the front again and I'm showing you guys the Boost Auto Parts tow mirrors and this is the retrofitted tow mirrors to fit your older body style trucks. So I do have the white lights for when I'm driving, but when I'm turning, it becomes the amber lights. So that matches the LEDs on the headlights. Now I'm gonna be showing you guys how I level the tow mirrors. If you look at this side, I actually only put two washers on this side. And if we walk over to the other side, I put three washers on that side. And you can tell that this side actually levels out a little bit better than this side. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back and uh, put two more washers on the top and to uh, give it that more of a level look to match this side this is we're just now getting started with this build i've done the tow mirror so far the headlights 
and we've done the tail lights on the truck and a couple of performance mods like the EGR block plate uh, turbo mouthpiece and we do have Ryan's diesel services 64 millimeter turbo at home that we're going to be installing next week yeah a lot of things just been coming up during the weekends and i just haven't been able to put that turbo on but we're gonna get to it we're gonna get to doing the turbo and this this thing's gonna scream it's gonna be it already sounds really good with the stock turbo but it's that billet wheel that's going to create that whistle so this thing is going to be just so much louder so for future plans for this duramax as you guys know uh, i do have 22 by 14 drop star forged polished wheels at home that will be going on this truck now what we're waiting for is we're just waiting on the lift kit and if you guys are following me on instagram i've really been debating between the zone six inch lift and the four and a half inch bds and i can get those at a really good price i'm not sponsored by them or anything like that i just can get them at a really good price now as you can tell by the hoodie i might be leaning towards the bds lift but the reason why i thought about zone was it's a six inch lift and it is for me it will be like four to five hundred dollars cheaper if i go with zone uh and a lot of people are doing zone six inch lift turning it down all the way and putting three inch rear blocks and that'll virtually set that'll essentially set it at uh, four to four and a half inch lift and that's what i want to do with this truck i want it to sit as low as possible and be able to clear the 22 by 12 on 33 by 14 50. now i got to thinking uh, what bds and zone what they do is uh the lift kit that i had on the lml bds will state that four and a half inch kit and the six and a half inch kit are the exact same kit Except with the six and a half inch kit, you are getting bigger rear blocks and you have to turn your torsion bars up front to set it at six and a half inches. So if you guys know about Zone and BDS, they are actually owned by Fox. They're both owned by Fox. So they are basically, their sister companies they are basically a same company. And so which got me thinking, Zone is probably advertising their six inch lift which is a four and a half inch lift with bigger rear blocks and you just turn the keys up and bds is probably selling that's there's the zone six inch lift as a four and a half to have a flat geometry so it looks a little bit better as a premium lift kit obviously the zone lift and the bds lift are not exactly the same at all because the zone lift is a torsion drop lift whereas the bds is non-torsion drop lift so with the bds lift kit you won't see your torsion bars drop but with the zone you will see your torsion bars dropping and most people some people don't like that look so that's why they go with bds but what i'm thinking here is that they probably reuse the knuckle and uh the, I'm, I'm thinking that zone six inch lift and the bds four and a half inch lift uses the same size knuckle so essentially if i can get the bds lift and it's only like three four hundred dollars more i'd rather do that and have the lifetime warranty no questions asked and the non-torsion drop would look a little bit better in my opinion also i'll be doing a lot of upgrades to this truck because i want to make the steering a lot firmer my loi the og loi the steering was super firm it was almost firmer than like a new truck even though it was on a nine inch lift with uh 14 wides and 37 inch tires uh, what I did with the OG LOI was I had the redhead gearbox and replaced the pitman and idle arm. And what I'll do with this time is I'll probably do the same thing. And what I'll do is I'll add the kryptonite or cognito steering uh, the idle arm pitman arm support kit, the piss kit. All right, let's head out, but just listen to the stock turbo. leaving downtown Augusta I should have brought my cousin with me so that way he could film while I'm like talking or kind of getting some drive-by shots but there's just so many homeless people walking around and they're like staring at me as I'm filming and I just don't feel comfortable leaving my camera somewhere and driving off 
just because you just don't know what's gonna happen. I don't wanna put myself in that situation where I have to chase somebody and get my camera back. Yeah, so we're leaving downtown on the way to Costco. Man, I haven't done a video like this, like a vlog actually, where I just kinda bring you guys along with what I'm doing, usually. So, we're gonna go to Costco. Oh crap, I left my membership card at home. A fun fact is that I used to work at Costco and Costco is actually a really good place to work. They, re they treat their employees really well, and uh, I don't know about other states, but Georgia minimum wage is $7.35, and Costco, they start you out at $13 an hour. Almost doubles the minimum wage, So and they pay you time and a half on Sunday. So there's a reason why people want to work at Costco. They treat their employees well, and they pay their employees really well, too. And uh, my location, we've had... You know, we've had so many cool, act, fun and cool activities. It just makes you feel at home and like makes you feel like a family. But look how windy it is today. Let me see if I can zoom in. I can't even see the light. <laughs> Jeez, look at that. That's actually really sketchy. Oh. Ooh. Don't run the red light. I actually somehow totally missed the Costco entrance and got myself on the interstate. I just got super distracted, but uh, it's kind of a good thing because I wanted to get on the interstate and test out these tow mirrors because I've been told that once you level them out, um, they get really flimsy and you'll see the mirrors kind of like shaking at highway speeds. And from what I see right now, I mean, I'm right now I'm getting, I'm stuck behind the dump trucks. So I'm only going. 65 or 55 but I was going about 75 and these mirrors held up pretty good let's see if I can speed up a little bit before I get off probably not but I'm going 62 what are you doing well ladies and gents looks like we've made a full circle uh, we are in South Carolina uh, going back to Georgia and this bridge that we're about to go over right here is i'll show you guys you'll see the river look that is the green jackets baseball stadium that is the triple a league i think but if you see that you see that river right there that's where we were taking pictures and drony shots earlier so we are down we are back in downtown augusta we've made a full circle <laughs> i just wasted so much time and uh fuel just making a full circle but um I hope it makes for a good vlog. And the cool thing about Costco is, wait, do you guys ever get deja vus? I, I feel like we were just here about 10 minutes ago. They're building a TV station right there, so they they got a tower up, and I just didn't recognize it, so I just went straight. Check it out. There's a 2020 Duramax with some wheels and a toolbox, obviously. I think that's a long bed, too. But, um, yeah, it looks pretty good. Looks like it's got some rich grapplers and fuel, maybe 18s, 20s. For a dollar fifty, you get a hot dog. So, a dollar fifty, you get a hot dog and a drink. You really can't beat that at all. When I worked at Costco, you could say that I was able to eat lunch less than two dollars every day. Just hot dog and a drink every day for lunch, and I mean. Either that or every once in a while you could switch it up and get pizza or they have the Italian sausage and just a bunch of stuff and you could really you can eat really well for less than five dollars uh, just at the Costco food court. Alright, here's the hitch. Oh this hitch is stout. Gen Y back on the truck. Push it, push it real good. Da, 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 da. It's my spare key for the LOY. And it works. There you go, I put it backwards. All right, there we have it. Gen Y bros. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you guys want to see this truck transform. It's about to go through a lot of changes. The first thing I did was EGR blocker plate and we did the turbo mouthpiece and we did that under like 100 bucks. So 
make sure to check out the playlist for this truck and hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any future content related to this truck.